Where is Eggleman? You gotta be kidding me. So now we got a raccoon and this walking head. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right. Madras, I think we finally got the puzzle figured out thanks to your mathematical genius. Let's just go inside here now that the puzzle has been reset and see if we can't get this thing solved. All right. Everything looks like it's back the way it should be. Let me get up here. Don't crowd these these buttons here. All right, let me look at my notes here that Madras gave me. All right, so from left to right, the first button. And we have to wait for it to stop. Okay. All right, everything's moved. So next mm. then is the third button and again we have to wait for everything to move and stop all right now the fourth button I wonder why so many people leave apples in their pocket hmm Still moving. Okay, now the tenth button. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Madras, I hope you got these computations correct. Everything has stopped. One day I'll learn illusion magic. So now the ninth button. Okay, and then it should be the seventh. So here's eight and seven. Madras, you are a genius. Look at that. Oh, that's it! You've done it! That's one of the most fantastic things I have ever seen! Excellent job. Let's recover the cog and continue onward. Oh, it's all Madras that's doing. That's another cog key for the gear door in the main cavern. Let's yes. get back there. All right. Is that is the stairs here? Yeah. Y'all have Madras to thank. Okay. All right, y'all, let's go. <coughs> now, I don't remember where we're supposed to put the cogs. Which way to go? Oh boy, all right, well. Okay, this looks like the right room. I think it's up, up there. You know, one thing we have not figured out is how to get these uh, control boxes to work. Well, at least I was able to find these. Get 
ready, everybody. Alright, we are supposed to enter Caragas Maze. Where is it? Oh, excuse me. Did a, a door open? Oh, the one down there is, is still closed. This is gonna be a a process. We're supposed to go to the maze, but we gotta find it first. Well, maybe we can go in here. Oh, Latoria was just thinking she should probably wait outside for you. Really? Why? What's the matter? <sighs> She's just scared again. Don't you think there will be something amazing up ahead? Latoria would be too scared to find out. Well, we'll look for you. Latore would just as soon wait outside. But why? I think because we are going the right scared. way. Ah! What? Now what's the matter? Something pulled Latoria's tail. Oh, you did that yourself. Oh, Look at come these, on these braziers are lighting themselves. Uh, let Latoria know when it is over. I am Cause, the great and powerful. Who are you? Beyond the Oh, look at this. Don't worry, Latora. It's just an illusion, meant to scare off superstitious grave robbers. It's a pretty convincing illusion. All right, let's search for the treasure. Nothing really important here. Okay, if I walk through here, is it gonna harm me? No. But I can't. Oh! Oh! What was that? That. Wait. That's that's the great cause. No, the inscription here seems to say that the treasure of Caragas is guarded by a terrible guardian. Wait, that casket is the tomb of a... of a child. Okay, undead flea. Ooh, I see! The treasure of Caragas is his daughter, and this must be her little companion. Loyal even after death. Must have been a toy Caragas made for his daughter. What, what are you talking about? Huh. Oh, this Seems thing. To be taking a liking to me. Oh, no, not another one. You want to come one. along, little fella? Do you? Well, all right. I think I'll call you... Eggleman. You like that, Eggleman? Great. Well, everything seems safe enough. Let's keep looking around. There's bound to be more. Where is Eggleman? You gotta be kidding me. So now we got a raccoon and this walking head. I tell you the company I keep. Hmm. Heals the target. That's interesting. Control cube, so we found one. I don't think we need any dwarven metal. All right, well, that looks like it. I don't know. Maybe I should take these 
dynamo cores, you never know. All right, let's go. All right, well, I guess we can go downstairs and well, there's a there's a spot for a control cube over here too. Well, if we can get over there. Well, we'll just we'll go since well, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. All right, yeah, we can go down here. Let's see if this control cube works on this door. Oh, here's his maze. Uh oh. Oh my. What was that? This is really something now, isn't it? This has to be Karagas's infamous maze. He built it to secure his research tower deep within the city. No telling what's in there. And that's exactly why we wait here while the guildmaster explores it. We oh. wouldn't want to get separated and lost in there. So who was that digging? Yes, I quite agree. It would be best if we set up a base camp here. And if they need it, all right, here we are. Well, the guildmaster shouldn't go at it entirely alone. What if something happens? I'll come along with. That's a good point. Very well then. Kaya will go with you, and the rest of us will remain here. Be careful, both of you. All right, well. Well, Guildmaster, shall we get underway? Yes, we Let's should. Let's make sure and bring plenty of torches from the crate. We'll certainly need them by the looks of it. All right. And Atar will be joining us as well. Well, I suppose we'll stop down here. So this really is a maze. So, should I be... I don't know how many torches I have. That was it. I mean, I have a lantern. Hopefully that'll be enough. But if we needed to mark where we're going... I'm not able to do that. You said something about torches. Yeah, rain. Whoops. Oh, I can't set the traps off. Oh no, I thought I was just coming back upstairs to the campsite. Of course I'm lost. Come on. Come on. What is it? A skeleton, and you're having trouble with it. You won't get away from me. Wow. All right, I hear their voices, so we should be close. Nope, this goes. Oh, look out! What was that? I suppose that's that. Oh, here y'all are. Where, where's the camp? Here we go. Oh, 
All right, so there's no supply of torches, is there? Where's Ariana? Maybe she's got. Where'd she go? Oh, here she is. I've got everything you could possibly need for your next expedition. Torches. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. are tougher come on let's do this oh somebody shot me with an arrow you won't get away from me oh right here Shoot out. That's clever. No, I can't. I'm gonna out. crush you like a bug. That was no mouse, but it may be a rat. It's occurring to me that I have no idea how to figure out this maze. I've lost my companions. Come on. Okay. Oh, here they are. Fine. Oh, all right. Oh. I'm going 
gonna kill you. You will regret that. Seen skeletons so tough. I'm gonna kill you. it out all right people I'm not so sure about this maze and we've lost two of our people in it we need to do some uh, research before we continue in this direction all right Kyrie so Atar is still lost inside there we need to get the torches and mark these. I hope I don't need a hundred though, but I'll take them. All right, what else have we got over here? I have to be careful about this whole thing. An expedition log. After exhaustive research, in preparation, we have finally come upon the location of the lost tower of Caragas or Caragas. It is no wonder that the tower has gone so long unknown as it barely protrudes from the rocks around it. If this tower did suddenly appear here out of thin air as is suggested, it obviously was not planned to arrive where it did. The entrance is a stone carved rotating door similar in nature to the great doors of Labyrinthian which suggests that when the tower arrived, additional work was done to conceal and protect the entrance using materials from surrounding sources. Do I really need to read all this? I, I don't think I am. Oh, this is so long. All right, anyway. All right, let's see if we can't find... Atar now. Let's see, it's one entrance, two, three. All right, come on. And we're gonna put torches here. So we know we came this. Oh no. Was this here before? <laughs> Can you get through? Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, here he is, all right. Wait, who's this? He oh. oh, I thought it started moving. Go 
am I supposed to jump down here? Oh, there's Atar. This can't be right. Here goes. Oh, I made it though. Something else here. All right, it looks like then this is going to be the only way. is missing. Alright, come on, let's make sure I'm marking these. What oh. was that? This way. No, oh, let me mark this here. sure that thing's not oh, look at this another one oh look I was just gonna put a torch there but it's a door this uh, imminent magic or I don't know if that's something that uh, I'm going to take he's on really 
there's some tough skeletons. Come on. Get it. Get it. All right, good work. What is that another one? Sure, do we want to go that way or this way? Oh, yeah. All right, well, I guess it's up them stairs then. here in a trip. Wow. Look out. Now, try to get through without getting cut or bruised. Oh my good, look at this. What is this? Oh! a trap. Don't push me on this. Alright, I guess we gotta go down. So, this must be the actual maze. All these are dead ends. Tell me, we just came, came back out, out the maze. All right, I'm gonna need Juliano's help.
Giuliano's. Help us solve this puzzle, this maze. I'm wondering even with Giuliano's help, will I be able to... Oh. Looks like... I would need to come over here and fight that thing. Look at the level. All right, Julianos. Thank you for guiding me here. We're in big trouble. Let me see what I've got. I never got a chance to pick up my dragon bow. I will go ahead with this one. And let's go ahead. Do I have dwarven arrows? Not dwarven. Daedric, I don't. Alright, we'll go with Ebony. Let's go. thing. I'll go with poison though. Alright, I'll drain its stamina and poison it. Oh no, it didn't even hit. Alright, there we go. Gotta hit the legs. So I get it. Come on, come on. Ah! I'm on fire. Ah, it burns. Got it. sit up here. Oh, okay. Well, will you look at this? Kyrie. Oh, speaking of Kyrie. 
Kyrie. I'm glad you found your way. Come on. Okay, how do we bring the explorers back? Where are we anyway? Well. What the? Damn you! There You'll they are. Pay for that. Where? Oh, this is the... Okay, now I know where this is. Right up here. Mm. I got you. All right. It's this way, people. This way. Oh, Madras. What time is it? <laughs> I haven't seen the sky all day. You. Well, we made it through the maze. Oh, by the Aedra and the Daedra. Please tell me you found something fantastic. That would be an understatement. We found this tower with a strange machine. No, it couldn't be. You're telling me you found Karagas' transmutation forge? Oh, boy. Well, that could very well be what it is. And I thought it was just a myth! Oh, me, oh, my, Eggleman! Did you hear that? Oh, please take us to it. I can't wait a moment longer. All right. Farewell. Watch it! Delicate work going on here. Yes. All right, everyone. It's this way. All right, no running, people. No running. Just, just be calm. This is what we've oh got here. Oh my, I can hardly believe my own eyes. Well, it's official. I can die happy right here, right now. This is truly amazing. This is indeed the fabled transmutation forge of the tonal architect, Karagas. It can reshape one item to look like another. The reason for the device was that during the Ethereum Wars, all items of great power were seized in the city-state's deadly gambit for power. So to protect their great artifacts, Karagas would mold them to look like worthless space items of little worth. When they in fact well could have been ethereal relics. They retained all the powers of their original form, but with none of their appearance. Well, tell us, man. How did it work? Yeah. Well, it's really quite simple, actually. It looks like the item whose appearance you want copied is placed in the source receptacle, while the item you want transformed was placed in the subject receptacle. Then, the button is pressed. Looks like only items of the same base form can be used, though. 
So a hand axe can only be a hand axe, or a pair of boots can only be a pair of boots. Seems though that some similar items still may have difficulties, especially as helmets are concerned. Best use it with care, I suppose. Well, it is certainly a most fantastic find, my friends. One worthy of a fitting display, I am certain. Well, we should make sure and take a complete look around, in case we missed anything before heading back. Head back? Are you kidding? I don't intend to ever leave this place again. There's a bed upstairs and everything. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, that is rich. Well, at least not for a few days, any rate. I have a lot to study here. That's fine. Take all the time you need, Madras. As for you, Guildmaster, I think we can handle the cataloging of what we found here. You are certainly welcome to stay if you wish, of course. But I'm sure you have plenty of other pressing matters to attend to. Actually, I do. Either way, we'll spend a few days here and then head back to the Guildhouse. Once again, thank you for spearheading such a fruitful venture. Well, thank you for having me along. We finally did it. That was a long, drawn out procedure, so we can now duplicate items. Eggleman? Eggleman? <sighs> Let me see what we got here. I ought to put this crown in here and see what happens. He said helmets. I don't know if this would be uh Let's do something simple like a, a amulet. Oh, I, I need two of the same thing though. Well, wait. An amulet for an amulet. I don't really have that. Well, there's this one. But no, that's important. How about this? Diamond gold necklace. We'll take the, the jeweled one that's less expensive. Alright, so... We got an amulet of RK. I don't think it's gonna work. Because they're not actually the same. Okay, so what do we have? Oh my god. So, it's still a jewel gold necklace that looks like an amulet of RK. That's pretty amazing. Oh, amazing everybody. I thought so too. Alright. Atar and I are getting out of here. We need to help finish rebuilding Helgen. I will see you all later.